here with Prairie View A&M head coach Bubba McDowell. Coach McDowell, first season, a, a pretty, a, a really good first season. Yes, what was your biggest takeaway from your first year here at PV? Oh, I, I think the biggest takeaway uh, for me was, again, just trying to uh, make sure that uh, – I, I I get these guys on the same page, uh, and uh, we're and on the same page meeting. You know, I want to come in, try this year, to change the culture uh, again. Try to do it last year, but kind of we got started a little late doing that. Um, now that we got a full season uh, with uh, recruiting um, and 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 things like that, it, it helps uh, quite a bit because now I know what I'm getting, who I'm dealing with, um, and and again, just le the learning process was was. was was uh, more than what I expected, but uh, at the same time, you know, this is why we're head coaches, and this is why and this is why we're in this position to uh, make things happen. Moving from last season to this season, what's one thing, or what's the main thing you want your team to improve on going into this next season? Finishing the game, uh, gosh, with so many times that we've been in position to uh, win games. Alcorn, uh, two years in a row, uh, we end up beating ourselves in both times in overtime uh, because we didn't do what we supposed to do trying to do our own thing uh, just just stay in the course and doing what doing exactly what you're taught to do and asked to do that's that's one of our biggest things going into this year is you know how can we finish by doing what we're asked to do and I think if we do that uh, we, we're gonna be a pretty good damn team your running back room loaded let's just be honest Caleb Johnson yes. Amon Antoine who's here with you today yes. talk a little bit about how important it is for you and your staff to run the football and how and just these guys that you have in the room what they're gonna be able to allow you guys to do yeah that's huge that running back uh, backfield is huge you know Amon you know Caleb you know uh, Connor it, 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 and it's getting bigger we got you know Donald Young I mean again young buck you know but again, a kid that's going to come in, I think, going to really compete um, to get them um, all on the same page. I think it's going to be huge. Um, you know, uh, football. You know, it goes in cycles from the spread back to the two tight ends, back to 21 personnel. So we're going to kind of we're going to mix it up this year, you know, and we have to because of the group that we have back there. We got to make sure that these guys can uh, do what they came in here to do. The transfer portal continues to grow and yeah. grow, but you're also in a loaded state of Texas with, on the JUCO and high school recruiting. How do you and your staff plan to balance high school recruiting along with JUCOs and the transfer portal? It's funny you say that because, again, I, was, um, I, I wasn't – so keen on the uh, transfer portal at first, and you know, I was say, hey, you know, I'm gonna go high school. But you know, a minute I saw what everybody else was doing, I said, eh, we got to go in and get some dudes, man. You know, we, we got to be able to compete in, in order for us to do that. We got to go get some older guys, veteran guys, come in, teach the younger guys, and keep, you know. And the, the thing with that deal, with the portal, is again, just making sure that when the kids come in, that we can get all of them on the same page. They're new to the system. So we got to make sure that the old guys and, and, their, and the new guys are all on the same page. We know that preseason rankings at the end of the day don't mean a lot, but you guys pick fifth I in the can't. division after being one game away, after being one game away from winning the yeah, division. Yeah. Is that a little bit of ex extra motivation for you and your team going into the season? Uh, definitely motivation for me. But as I tell the players, you should look at this, take heed, take heed to it, see what they're saying about you, and again, you know, you guys need to go out and, and take care of business because again, you know, we only had two guys uh, make the conference team, you know, and I, you know, last time I looked, you know, we had some guys that had pretty good uh, stat numbers, but again, you know, uh, as I told them, at the end of the day, don't worry about the ranking, you go out, hell in business, do what you're supposed to do, play together, play as a team. Build your culture that you're trying to build, uh, and things are going to work out. You know, the one thing I want them to understand is you take this as fuel, you know, and, and get better. Coach, congrats on your first season here at PV, and looking forward to seeing what you put on the field in your second one. Thank you, sir.